So to the untrained eye, this just looks like a crazy guy on the top of a hill. <laughs> but if we zoom in a little bit, you'll start to see some color. Now, there's very little, but if you look right about, right about there, we have some type of uh, cinnabar chanterelles. Now, all right guys, so I made it to the top. I just want to give you a quick look at where I am. So I'll tilt this up a little bit and you can see the incline <laughs> of what we just climbed up. It's very, I don't know what degree you would call that, but it's very, very steep. And uh, we found our gold, cinnabar chanterelles. Rules all apply. You got your color, you've got your ridges, not gills, and they fork out at the ends. Oh, mosquito. And these are a nice, tasty, delicious little morsel. And this one's really nice because it's got no holes, no bugs, nothing. So I'll bring you over to the patch that we've, I'll, I'll bring you over to the patch that we've seen. We'll go back to this guy again real quickly. You can see it beside my thumb. That's about a, a large size. Uh, they may get a tiny bit bigger than this, but usually not usually. But that's a that's a really nice size one. And then we'll uh, use this to compare with... Whoops. We'll use this one to compare with the ones that we have, this little patch here. I'll take a knee so I don't fall. So, as you can see, the other guys here are really small. And you can see there's lots of dirt on them. That's not us. That's just probably raindrops spitting up dirt. It rained, uh, hard rained real hard yesterday. And because these guys grow so close to the ground, it may require a little extra work uh, cleaning them off. But if you've ever tasted any kind of chanterelle, it's absolutely worth it. All right, just to show you the comparison in color of the two, uh, the one on the right is a golden chanterelle, chanterelle. The one on the left is the cinnabar. And if you flip them over, you can see the gills are very, very, uh, very alike, actually identical. Uh, it's just the color that's different. And again, you got the golden color on the out. Whoops, got the golden color on the outside, and it's white on the inside. Golden, uh, the orange on the outside, and white on the inside. Sorry, folks. I know lights starting to get pretty nasty, but I'll show you where we are picking those mushrooms. Right up there. Yeah, you do crazy things for mushrooms. Totally worth it, though. So here's our uh, here's our uh, chanterelle hall. Our cinnabar chanterelles. You see, this, take a quick look at the gills there. Remember, uh, not gills, they're ridges, and they have a forked uh, forks at the end, just like our regular chanterelle, like this guy. I know I already showed you that, but so you get to zoom in. There we go. So there you go, golden chanterelle, cinnabar chanterelles. Sorry guys, whenever you're out uh, looking for chanterelles, always be sure, or any kind of mushroom in that fact, always make sure you can identify it 100 percent. And uh, don't go by, go by just what I say. Do your own research and uh, enjoy the fruits of nature. You guys stay safe. Get on Explore.